Yo, Phrase. Santana. What's up, man? We over here at what? 88.5. Yo, Phrase. Yo, <laughs> about to go in here. What, what's gonna happen when we go in here, man? What are we gonna do? Oh, just so, you know, just the way we used to do it in '92, just like 2012. Yeah. yeah. So you think anybody gonna pop up tonight? I don't know. You never know. The stalkers. Yeah. Oh, there might be one right there. Hold on, we gotta turn on the lights. True. Yeah. Is that concept incognito? Yo, is that concept incognito? Oh my God, y'all! Yeah, oh my God! Oh my God! I want, his, I want your autograph, man. Oh, fuck out of here! <laughs> By the way, this is the R U E L rule. Yes. Bow moves over here, so you know, here my man Phrase representing his uh, F Train music thing going on. In a long time. Do we want to say how long? Uh, it's up to you. Our <laughs> hair was a lot less gray. Uh, I talking to my man Phrase. A lot of people remember him, you know, from years and years ago. What was the name of the original group? Power Moves. Power Moves. I bet you when you were rhyming. When it was rhyming, it was TRD Phrase. Okay, TRD Phrase. There we go. And um, and that was back in the old house with God bless with Kenny K. And then um, we got to uh, move over here with Concept later on. But back in, back then, 91, 92, strong on there. It wasn't Concept back then. It was it was Mars. Mars. <laughs> Mr. Mars. Um, when me and Rule started Power Moves back in 92 and got everything going mm -hmm. in the Tampa area. And before cell phones and emails, 88.5 was the way to contact because. Power Moves. If people wanted to get all the Power Moves, they'd call up to the station and someone would relay the message yeah. to us for us to get in touch with them. Yeah. Can you tell so and so to call me? It's like, wait a minute, am I, am I your... You know, am I relaying messages here? But that's pretty much what it was. But it's all good. But you were part yeah. of the team too back then. Yeah, I know. I'm still kind of part of the team. Oh, you know, yeah, the, I, I like to say that I'm on the outer fringe. Yeah, there you go. You know, I'm back up a little real quickly. Sure. Because we we gotta, you know, we're gonna touch on your history real quick. You know, the fact is that you have managed some people. You know, you work with some people that a lot of people look up to. See, yeah. I, I had the blessing um, after my uh, I put the microphone down as, as an MC and I decided to start playing the background and the music and just due to my support, I had the fortunate um, opportunity to go up to New York and work with and road manage uh, PMD for me, PMD. Um, I worked with Craig Mack for a couple of years, putting out vinyl. We did, right before vinyl died, we were going strong with white labels all around the world, putting out Papoose and Kanye and all these different people. and. Got the DJ for Keith Murray for a while up there in New York and just just doing a bunch of things. I got to be around a lot of legends who, who were true pioneers to the game and who still carry that torch from, from the 80s till now, still rocking to the same day. I mean, the Hit Squad Tour is global right now. I know they're getting ready to go to Europe. And I believe yeah. in the month of November they'll be overseas just doing as the entire Hit Squad. So I got to, to be around and be a part of that, and I got to claim the affiliation of being down with the Hit Squad. Yes, um, sir. DJing for EPMD sometimes, DJing for these different people, and it was just like fulfilling dreams. It was just like surreal moments. And I, but yeah, from 92, from the transformation, from the inspiration I was given from the, from the Tampa Bay area and from, from the batteries that, that everybody down here put in my back to keep that motivation going, I was lucky enough to carry it back up to New York and, and, and get to rock with some legends.